It is always good to get out of Washington for a little while and come to places like Costa Mesa. You know, the climate is a lot nicer, and so is the conversation. So I am looking forward to taking your questions in a few minutes and talking to you about your concerns. But these bonuses, outrageous as they are, are a symptom of a much larger problem. And that's the system and culture that made them possible. A culture where people made enormous sums of money taking irresponsible risks that have now put the entire economy at risk. So we're going to do everything we can to deal with these specific bonuses. And I know Washington's all in a tizzy, and everybody's pointing fingers at each other and saying it's their fault, the Democrats' fault, the Republicans' fault. Listen, I'll take responsibility. I'm the president. So. We didn't draft these contracts. We've got a lot on our plate. But it is appropriate, when you're in charge, to make sure that stuff doesn't happen like this. So we're going to do everything we can to fix it. So for everybody in Washington who's busy scrambling, trying to figure out how to blame somebody else, just go ahead and talk to me. <laughs> because it's my job to make sure that we fix these messes, even if I don't make them. So I'm absolutely committed to ensuring that we have the tools we need to prevent the kinds of abuses that sent AIG spiraling. And we've got to make sure that we've got regulations that don't allow companies to take these huge risks that are so big that they can sort of hold us hostage. We can't let them fail because it'd bring the entire banking system down and hurt a lot of innocent people. But on the other hand, they act irresponsibly. We have to make sure we don't put ourselves in that position. And I'm also committed to ensuring that if we ever do have to intervene again to prevent a bankruptcy that could cause ca a catastrophe for the whole financial system, then we have some of the tools that a bankruptcy judge has to help renegotiate contracts, to sell off insolvent parts of an institution, to protect the healthy parts, to protect depositors and creditors and other consumers. We also want to do this because it serves the most important goal we have today, which is to rebuild our economy in a way that's consistent with our values. An economy. And I want to, I want to describe to you the kind of, kind of economy that we want to build, an economy that rewards hard work and responsibility, not high-flying financial schemes. An economy that's built on a strong foundation, but not one that's propelled by overheated housing markets and maxed out credit cards. In other words, we want to build an economy that offers prosperity for the long run. You remember that ad that they used to have out there that said, uh, we earn money the old-fashioned way we earn it? <laughs> well, we need to get back to that philosophy, because that's what all of you do. You're out there earning a living, and we've got to reward people who are working hard, not the bubble-and-bust economy we've experienced in recent years.